What's up guys, Tao here. This will be a short video to follow up my last graphics card test video on the RX 480, uh, the performance within the Final Cut Pro. After I post the result, a couple of comments said that my Bruce X 5K result didn't look right. So I revisit my uh, system, update the SM BIOS to, from the 14.2 to 18.2, and also update the Clover to the latest version as of this video, believe it's R4630 and then did the test again. Guess what? Now the render time and the export time has improved. The render time only improved slightly, around about one second. So it has 26, around about 26 seconds on the clock. Now the export time has improved significantly. It has 17.87 seconds on the clock. Uh, it's huge improvement from around about 37 seconds. So thank you very much for the comments and thank you very much for pointing that out. During the SM BIOS and the Clover update, however, there was a uh, slight issue. After I update the Clover uh, to the latest version, again, as of this video, for some reason, the system won't boot. Uh, it's kind of boot halfway and disappeared and just keep on the loop. So I was scratching my head and trying to find uh, the issue online. So I saw a couple of posts on the uh, community side saying is the Clove update actually delete few files after the update. So I use the um, USB installer. So make sure you have this, um, uh, you know, ready. So it, this thing is really, really useful and boot into the system and look the 64 bit driver folder within the EFI. So surprise, surprise. So there was a file and uh, was there before. Now, after the Clove update wasn't there, after the update. So I guess, or I assumed, so that would be the issue. And I transfer or download that file uh, or use the uh, Clover installer. Uh, just when you go into the ins uh, customized installation and make sure tick, the file is OSX APTIO uh, 64 uh, bit driver. So make sure that's ticked. So, and then I restart it and voila, the system was booted. So what I've learned from this, um, the first, uh, the USB installer is so important, it's very handy. Uh, if you have a failure, if it updates or installation, now uh, this is the rescue disk or rescue USB stick. Uh, and the second is that because of the Hackintosh, so anything could go wrong at any point. Now this issue could be just for my uh, circumstances, your might be different. So a person will say, just don't give up and persevere it. And uh, in the end, you will succeed and there's a massive community around and I'm pretty sure you will find answer to your question. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, please click on the like if you liked it and uh, you know, if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. And also please subscribe to the channel uh, for future video updates and you know, share with others as well. Hopefully this video is useful for you. Yeah, see you guys later. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date and blah, blah, blah.